Open up Resources Illustrative Mathematics, 8th grade, Unit 2, Lesson 11. Writing Equations for Lines. Problem number one. For each pair of points, find the slope of the line that passes through both points. If you get stuck, try plotting the points on graph paper and drawing the line through them with a ruler. A. Points 1, 1, and 7, 5. The difference in the y values is 5 minus 1, and that's 4. And the difference in the x values is 7 minus 1, and that's 6. So the slope is 4 over 6. Take a look at the slope. You can see that you rise up 2, and you move to the right 3. So that's a rise over run, or a slope of 2 over 3, or 2 thirds. It's also equivalent to 4 sixths. And you can see, to get from the first point to the second point, you have to rise up 4 and run to the right 6. You can find the slope without drawing the line on a graph. Just subtract the y values, 5 minus 1, and that's 4, and subtract the x values. 7 minus 1 is 6. So you can see that we have a slope of 4 over 6, which is simplified to a slope of 2 thirds. 1b, coordinates 1, 1, and 5, 7. The difference of the y values, 7 minus 1 equals 6, over the difference of the x values, 5 minus 1 is 4. So the slope would be 6 over 4. And simplified, that would be 3 over 2. Problem number 1c, coordinates 2, 5, and negative 1, 2. Here's what it looks like on the graph. And you can see to get from one point to the other, we have to rise up 3 units and move to the right 3 units. That's a slope of 3 over 3, or 3 divided by 3, which is 1. This would be a slope of 1. Again, we can find the slope without drawing a graph. Find the difference of the y coordinates, 2 minus 5, that's negative 3 over negative 1 minus 2. A negative 1 minus 2 is a negative 3. A negative 3 divided by negative 3 is a positive 1. So the slope would be positive 1. Number 1d. You have coordinates 2, 5, and negative 7, negative 4. Start by finding the difference of the y values negative 4 minus 5. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9 over the difference of the x values, negative 7 minus 2. Negative 7 minus 2 is also negative 9. Negative 9 over negative 9 is positive 1. This would be a slope of 1. Problem number two, line L is shown in the coordinate plane. A, what are the coordinates of B and D? The coordinates of B are four and zero, and the coordinates of D are eight and 10. B asks, is the point 16 and 20 on line L? Explain how you know. Well, we know that this line has a slope of 5 fourths because we can rise up from point C, 5 units, and move to the right to point D, 4 units. That shows a slope of 5 fourths. This can be represented with a set of coordinates that show the difference of the X coordinates, 4, and the difference of the Y coordinates, 5. The coordinates 16 and 20 have the same slope as coordinates 4 and 5, because 20 divided by 16 is equal to 5 divided by 4. So the answer to 2b is yes. This point would fall on the same line because the slopes are the same. 2c is a little bit different. They're asking about the point 20, 24, or 24 divided by 20. And that's not the same as 5 divided by 4. They have a different slope, so these would not be on the same line. 2D. Is the point 80, 100 on line L? 
Explain how you know. Yes, they could be on the same line and they have the same slope because 100 divided by 80 is equal to 5 divided by 4. For example, 80 is 20 times larger than 4 and 100 is 20 times larger than 5. Problem number 3. Consider the graphed line. Mai uses triangle A and says the slope of this line is 6 over 4. Elena uses triangle B and says no, the slope of this line is 1.5. Do you agree with either of them? Explain. Well, as you can see here, they're both correct because 6 over 4 or 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. Another way to look at it is up 6 and to the right 4 has the same slope as up 1.5 and, and to the right 1. And that would be a slope of 1.5 because 1.5 over 1 means 1.5 divided by 1. And 1.5 divided by 1, of course, is 1.5. So the slope would be one and a half. And notice that a slope of six over four would be the same because six is one and a half times greater than four. Problem number four from eighth grade unit two, lesson seven. A rectangle has length six and height four. Which of these would tell you that quadrilateral A, B, C, D is definitely not similar to this rectangle? Select all that apply. A. AB is equal to BC. Well, as you can see here, this rectangle, AB, is not equal to BC because 4 units does not equal 6 units. B. The measure of angle ABC equals 105 degrees. This one would also not be similar because as you can see, the measure for ABC is 90 degrees, not 105 degrees. C. AB equals 8. As you can see on this rectangle, AB equals 4. And 8 is exactly 2 times larger than 4. It could have a scale factor of 2. It could be similar to this rectangle. Let's take a look at D. This one says BC equals 8. Currently, the way we have our rectangle labeled, we have BC that equals 6. But if we were to rearrange these labels, BC could be 4. And again, 8 is a scale factor of 2 compared to 4. This could be a similar rectangle. Let's take a look at E. BC equals 2 times AB. So no matter which way we label this, one side length will not be exactly 2 times the other side length. So this one, for sure, is not similar. Let's take a look at F. 2 times AB equals 3 times BC. We could rearrange the order of these labels to make this true. And you could see that 2 times one side length could equal 3 times the other side length. So for example, 2 times 3 and 3 times 2, or 4 times 3 and 6 times 2. These rectangles could be similar. Please consider subscribing and leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.